campers, we're about to go on a six and a half mile hike. Make sure that we start with reading our scripture about nature. And when you're there, I want you to record 12 instances where you saw Jesus on this hike. Any less, and you will not be in deserted dinner time. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, just keep, make sure, just keep that up, Allie. Don't fall asleep on me. You gotta finish this up. All right, John t chapter 2, verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. I have been listening to you for 45 minutes. Let me just go to sleep. Do you think you've had an adequate amount of the Word of God today, Allie? Ugh. Okay, uh, campers, so we're gonna go on a hike now. Um, we're gonna go like right and then left. I think there's a map, but I don't really have one. Um, I think we're supposed to like have a discussion about Jesus and nature, but I don't really know any scripture that relates to that. Um, Do you have like a Bible? No, I don't have a Bible. Miss Allie, where are your campers? You're supposed to be praying over this meal. Oh, they wanted to take a nap. What? What are you doing here? Why are you sleeping here? I'm keeping campers like you from getting out and sneaking out. Miss Allie, there's a bunch of campers making out outside. Mm. Well, it's past lights out. It's not my problem now. Okay, campers, um, we're going to go to the pool, so let's get changed. Aren't you excited to go to the pool, Miss Allie? I'm so excited. So why do you work at camp? Mm, it's fulfilling my internship requirement, and I get paid. All right, campers, you have eight seconds to get dressed for the pool. We're gonna do a quick Bible study on the way to the pool. And make sure, actually, you know what, let's just do a camp song really quick before we go. Ready? Remember? He's my rock, my sword, my shield. He's the hole in the middle of the wheel. He's the lily in the valley. So why do you work at camp? Um, well, I work at camp because it's literally everything that I am. I literally will live and breathe and die for this camp. My blood is attached to the top of the rock wall. I intend for it to stay that way. Nothing matters to me more than this summer camp. Doesn't your hat say young life? And now, for your added bonus feature, the camp lookbook. First, make sure you have your Chacos. $83.99 from Chacos.com. Your athletic shorts, so you look athletic, but you don't actually play sports. From Dick Sporting Goods. Hydro Flask, make sure you stay hydrated. Hydrate or die. <laughs> That's right. Bible, because you never know when you're going to need some Jesus. You better have every verse annotated and have at least four translations or you are not a real Christian. And different colored highlighters. At least four. Your hammock, so you're ready for that Instagram picture. Most importantly, if you need some time to, you know, ignore the campers. Your guitar, a camp staple. Have it handy in case you need to break out some Chris Tomlin. The hat gives you the finishing look, top to bottom. Yeah. Two, good, two good reasons. Keep away from ticks, and you don't have to do your hair in the morning. Just roll out of bed and go. Last, but not least, your camp t-shirt. You know, preferably stolen from the camp store, but it might be given to you. You don't know. And that is your camp lookbook. Thank you.